Frontier being Frontier again, all of a sudden, uh, on a weird day, they just post the 1.10 update, which is also coming uh, the 21st of June, which is the day where we will get the conservation DLC. Now, I haven't really read through here. Um, let's do this together real quick, but there are a couple of cool things I have seen uh, from my Discord channel, because a certain Eben is already going crazy in there, um, and there are a couple of things uh, we need to discuss. But first of all, let's go in what we have. So, first of all, we've got education stations. Educators have uh, had an upgrade in 1.9. We all know that. They run around, which is cool. Um, and so there is more to it. Now, zoo guests can have a more immersive experience than ever before with new education stations. They are new path facilities that, when placed, will provide an item for child guests um, to interact with and then gaining a minor education happiness boost. These will have a set of education topic and will not uh, be able to be customized, but will come in three different types. A height measuring station, um, I'm, I'm very happy that Frontier is stating that, but they they do know that we will be able to customize them. I mean, what do they even expect? They, these things will look d way different just an hour into access to this file anyways. Uh, soundboard station, press a button to hear a sound from one of the animals in your zoo. Did you know they make that sound? Really cool, I love that for my little one, please. And paw print station, compare your hands to the paws on the animal. How big is yours in comparison? Honestly, that is brilliant. I, I was really, really craving for these kind of things since the beginning. A child are such a vital part to a zoo and um, I'm really happy that they now have a, a very own kind of element for themselves. And we've got three different animations, which is kind of cool, which is, as you can see, these three over here. I guess this is the, this is the height measurement thing, of course, and yeah, I mean, sure, you can just customize that. I mean, okay, the giraffe is, is mega, but hopefully it's just that thing, maybe, whatever. That's kind of the, I think this might be the paw thing or the sound thing. Um, so that is really cool. And uh, this opens doors for so many more interactions for kids, especially. And I'm a huge fan of that. Um, it's also going to be uh, boosting your conservation rating, which is kind of cool. Then group photos. This is so cool. Child guests aren't the only ones gaining new behavior. Currently, guest groups take photos of animals, but now your guests will join each other for even more fun by taking group photos. When this occurs, one member of the group will take uh, the role of the photographer with one to five other grouping together as the subject. How cool, man. This is making the whole thing so much more lively. I really love that. Um, from, he uh, from here, they will line up and happily pose together to capture, to prompt a group photo be taken, guests must be viewing a habitat and have an overall happiness rating of above 50%. My god, they will never do that in my sandbox bo uh, box. <laughs> Anyway, so your guests have gained some new behaviors, but what about your animals? I love the writing style, by the way. Um, animal sniffing behavior. This is a very cool thing you can see on that image over here. Really cool. I'm guessing that's my thumbnail anyways. Um, so watch your animals engage with their surroundings even more than before with the new sniffing behavior. While some animals already have a sniff animation, this new feature adds sniffing as an active behavior for the majority of animals in your zoo, but not all. See below a list of which will be excluded. When placing items in your habitat, the game will generate a set of sniff points that your animals will uh, can interact with. Um, after all, they'll want to find the most interesting places to smell. These sniff points will exist per enclosure, and when a habitat is destroyed, they will be removed as well, and new ones will be generated if you rebuild or use the undo button. Uh, so make sure you're okay with this just before doing any removals. Honestly, I really, really do love that. Um, and I think at this point, it's also fair to say that... Um, I think we can, uh, you know, um, uh, kind of fix this as a um, kind of naming naming procedure Frontier has. So behavior is always something they do freely, and the other thing, the enrichment, is kind of something they do in in you know an animation together with an animation uh, object or like an enrichment object. So whenever we hear the name behavior, that means they can do this with various things in your habitat that you built yourself. When they have animation, it's connected to um, uh, to, to kind of, uh, uh, what's that again? Uh, to the enrichment piece, that <laughs> was that. Yeah, we don't need to go through the list. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's just just animals that don't sniff that often. Anyways, animal chorus behavior. That's not all. Um, now some of your animals can try their hands or rather their voice at musical stardom with the new animal chorus behavior. Some animals, including the new siamang, coming to the conversation pack, are known for group performing uh, calling activities. The new behavior comes to play in zoo as the arctic and timber wolves alongside the new will be able to perform chorus calls with each other even while wading or climbing. There will be a range of calls available with the chorus leader, the animal who starts the chorus 
members will randomly select one from and that's, that's just so cool i hope they will add more in the future because the wolves um, are cool but there are even uh, other animals that do this the orangutan for example does this as well if i'm not completely wrong and other animals as well so that would be really cool new climbing enrichment what a better way for animals to show their excitement this summer than with a new climbing frame to enjoy the sun this new climbing frame enrichment can be used by your animals that can make use of thin climbing pieces which is good to know um, because that is going to exclude some major animals such as the orangutan or the gorilla for example because they can only use the big climbing pieces which is a shame but ever whatever uh, however that's not all for our new sea monks these become a playground of high flying fun thanks to the new brachiation behavior brachiation means you'll see the sea monks swing around your frames in ways you have not seen before that means for those of you who don't know brachiation is basically the act of overhead climbing um, and I, at this point, I'm going to call that out in this video and I will state that until they do it, they have opened doors now to brachiation and honestly, they have to add this at least to the gorilla and the orangutan. If not, this would be such a waste of animation. I mean, they have it. We know of the system of copy pasting animations and... It, we all have asked for that since the very beginning. It was always meant to be impossible, um, but now as they did this, and we have to see how that works in game, and maybe maybe it's just, you know, and this is why I was stressing uh, the behavior wording so much. That means they can do this freely in the habitat. It's not connected to one specific enrichment item. If though this is connected to a specific item, we have to talk about that in a different way. But I'm assuming that they can do this. Um, so yeah, because the, the new climbing frame enrichment, I'm, it, it, I, you know, I, I can't really tell if this is just one piece or I mean we've seen that from the photos, but it's super confusing at this point. Calling it enrichment piece sounds like it's one piece, but it doesn't look like one piece. Um, and the variation behavior is again something that you know also swing around your frames is again something different. Uh, we have to see that. It's very vague over here and I really hope that they will be a bit more precise very soon. Or we see that in the trailer, who knows. Uh, you'll now have even more control over the look of your habitats with new small habitat gates. Great, let's jump over that. That's just like half half the height. Very nice, very much loved when you have like one meter tall. Why do you have such a big fence? That's a good thing, just check mark. Then we got some more shop counters and signs, uh, which is cool. They always said that they are adding more in the future. So they do now, um, and that is going to be Cosmic Cow ice cream, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you see all these kind of things. I think it's all now except the toilet, obviously, um, and so that's kind of cool. And we will also have uh, a lot of fixes, as always. Um, so I'm very happy with the changes. Uh, that is a lot under the belt, so to say, under the hood, because th we, we got so many changes in the past with new stuff and so on. This one might seem a little bit smaller this time around, but in fact it's not, because it's, it's adding so much more life to your zoo. You can do so many things, and we all know how much we can abuse certain things. The only big question mark I still have is the um the climbing enrichment i really i do hope that frontier is adding this as a at least somewhat customizable piece and that the the siamang can make the brachiation on basically all pieces that make them eligible for that somewhat like the um uh, how's that animal called again the small this the small one that can also hang on its tail um forgot the name uh, whatever um so yeah, maybe maybe they do it that way. I don't know, but I really I really do hope uh, that this is is a good way forward to overhead climbing or brachiation. Um, but other than that, let me know in the comments below what you think. What's your favorite edition for the 1.10 update? And um, yeah, I'm hoping to feature more stuff in the future. But for now, have a good day, stay safe, and I tell I'll talk to you in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, wait, before we stop, um, there is a good news. We have confirmation that the climbing pieces are modular. There, it was just as an answer in the forums to a question that Eben posted. I told you he's going crazy and... Whew, my God, oh, that's, that's such a good news. So, very, very positive news to the end. I didn't want to uh, leave them out for you. So, here's it. Yeah, here you know it. It's going to be modular. But until then, have a good time and goodbye, everyone.